Hello and welcome back to another video on Sir Finley Gaming Channel. On today's video I'm going to be looking at Magic the Gathering Arena which has just come into open beta. I'm just going to be discussing some of the modes, the economy, I'm not going to play any gameplay because you can see that in other areas quite easily enough. Um, it's open beta so you can download it, just google it and you can download the client. Um, so first of all what I'm just going to say is what you can get when you first start the game. So once you complete the tutorial you get five decks, one of each colour for free. Um, they're, they're very va basic decks. As you can see that's got quite basic decks. See this is all just ramping, ramping, ramping into just big dumb creatures as you can tell. Next step, we'll have a look at Dragon's Fire, which is probably the best, one of the best ones. Um, this one's just got basic cards into some really good um, dragons, like this dragon, that drag, that um, dinosaur, that that dragon, that dragon. So you get given some um, decks to play with. You've also got if you play, click on play. You can play on the ladder, and if you play um, with these basic decks, you'll play against other people with basic decks. So that's pretty good. Um, each, the, each, um, you can get given some other free decks. Um, I got then got given this free deck. If we have a look at this one, this one's actually a bit more advanced because it's got two colours and it's got some slightly better spells, that's a brilliant spell. But it kind of gives you certain cards, that, and like twos of and ones of. So then if you like the card you can just add another one yourself later down the line. So this one's more of a, dra a um, dinosaur deck. Um, but one of the reasons you kind of need to get given um, decks is if we have a look at this if we have a look at the store and then we have a look at purchase packs have you ever seen a a uh, game of cards a card new card game that starts with one two three four five sets I mean that's crazy I mean how are you going to start uh, playing the game. If you take Hearthstone, that started with one set and it was more friendly to the new player base. This is starting with five five new um, sets and there's other ones still in standard that haven't been put in. Like another Ixalan um, set for example. If we take a look at the um, economy as well, um, a, car a card pack if we purchase packs cost a thousand so that's similar to like a hundred in heart in hearthstone if you think of a uh, hundred is, is buying a pack if we go back to the main menu you get given quests in this game so similar to hearthstone you get three quests and then so you get a new one this one says 30 um, attack with 30 creatures they're quite similar you know um, to half stone quest and the, if you look at if a uh, card back's worth a um, thousand in this game and a hundred in half stone then this five hundred is like fifty gold in half stone so the, the quests are quite similar in the amount of value that they give this um, winning gold thing is a bit like the half stone where you get ten gold for the, every three games you win the ones that are more interesting is these two things here every 5, 10 and 15 wins you get a car pack um, this one rotates so this one here today um, get you get one pack for doing four, uh, 40 red or green spells um, so this this is extra value that's over half stone so that's really good but if we um, also if we have a look at the store um, we buy a car pack 
the system that they have in this is these um, wild cards. These can this uncommon wild card um, it allows you to get any uncommon card in the game, which is uh, really good. This one is a rare wild card, and this kind of ticks along as you um, as you open packs. And also, when you get duplicates, you get four of a duplicate, it adds to a, a vault which is up here. So instead of the um, dust in, in Hearthstone, where if you get you can um, turn in your dust or your duplicate cards for dust, and then you can buy cards um, with the dust, this one has a wild card system, which I don't really like that much. Um, they say they're going to be improving it in as the beta goes on, but it's not particularly a great system. I open up the cards, and show you what we get in the cards. So you get a number of basic cards that kind of ticks through. This card's quite nice. Quite like that card. Click on that. So we get this one, gruesome. Right. And then that says choose a creature card with converted mana cost one in your graveyard then do the same for creature cards we can vote two and three and then return those to the battlefield so it's quite good and maybe like a zombie deck something like that but as you um, as you um, have cards and and get packs then these will tick on along this is this if you have a look here these are where it shows you where the um, wild cards are I was in beta so these are the ones that I've kind of um, got from opening packs in beta so that's how I've got one mythic rare and if you go to decks click on this prime evil deck if you want um, an extra if you want to use up one of your wild cards you just click on that right so that's not it so that's it so click on that because I haven't got that in my uh, deck. I haven't got that in my collection. You just click on the redeem the wild card. Right, so I better get rid of this. So that goes back up to sixty. Take a look at some of the events, and they are really, really pricey. We take a look at um, the sealed of Ravnica. You get six boosters that you can um, keep the cards at the end of the day. It costs 2,000 gems. We, um, you get six boosters and you could win, so that's potentially nine um, boosters. We take a look at the store and take a look at purchase gems the cheapest bundle is 20,000 gems for 9.99 so you can get so if I do the quick maths quick maths um, it's ten dollars a draft for a sealed event and for ten dollars you get nine packs definitely but that, I mean that is an incredible amount of money ten dollars for nine ten dollars for not for nine packs so that's similar to half them but you're you have to bank on yourself winning these events if we take a look to you can if you can get like five wins you get 16 gems and three packs if you get six wins um, you get 2,000 gems. So you really need to be backing yourself to get four wins. So, if you're a good ma magic player, then it can be worthwhile doing these events. But if you're not a good player, then you're not. You're going to be losing value definitely. Take a look at this draft here. It costs 5,000. That's equivalent to 500 gold in Hearthstone and you get three packs and you're basically so you're getting three packs you're basically gambling two packs worth um, to bank on yourself winning maybe five wins really 
five wins plus so if you're a good player then yeah it might be worth gambling your money but if you think about five thousand gold you know about equivalent to half stone of five hundred um, gold in half stone I mean and you can do a draft in you can do like a semi draft in half stone for a hundred and fifty gold so I mean this is outrageous price massive price um, you can do this singleton mode um, it's free at, at the moment but I mean we take a look at the free choose my deck I've just chosen a deck click on that go back to home click on my deck I've just been able to create a deck from all the free decks that I've got one of each but I've only just and this deck has just been getting thrashed in that mode uh, if you take if you have a look at that mode it's a singleton mode you basically have to only have one card of only allowed one card in each deck uh, um, otherwise it's forfeit and every time you get one when you get a least an uncommon least least another one then you get a rare and a rare and an uncommon but this mode is better for people who are beginners and people who are with not big collection but you're just going to get thrashed by people because you're not even um, got enough cards to even have a singleton mode like this mode would be a lot better if it was say only using the um, basic decks that you got given when you first started the um, game than a singleton event I mean, it's a bit of a wasted opportunity um, but as you can see it's very pricey to do to to be doing this we take on the advanced modes we got this competitive draft mode that's 1500 that's about 750 a draft and that's a, for three packs so that's a lot of seven um, about seven hundred and fifty dollars more actually probably more yeah about seven seven pound seven dollars fifty for a draft I mean that's a lot of money compared to half stone I mean I just feel that with the how pricey this um, take a look also at the store take a look at purchase packs take a look at their Guilds of Ravnica, 18,000 for 90 packs. So that's nearly like 99. It's near. It's it's around do a dollar a pack, more than a dollar a pack. You get a couple of um, of these mythics here, but I mean it's still really pricey. I mean, as a new player, where are you going to start? What are you going to do? Buy 90 of each one? I mean. If you buy 90 of each one, you're going to be spending like nearly 500 quid to start this game. I mean, the barrier to entry is massive. I mean, for a new player, it's overwhelming and too much money. I just feel that this game isn't really. It might attract some casual people and some beginners um, to start off with but they're not going to retain them because of the price the price is so much money um, I just feel that this game won't attract new players or retain new players it's just a good way for existing players to continue playing the game and make the game more accessible to experienced players but it's not going to retain those um, <laughs> beginners and inexperienced people because the it costs way too much I mean half stone is a lot more generous um, in the terms of game modes 150 gold just to play a arena and you can play um, tavern brawl which is effectively a free mode in um, in you know, every Wednesday and that gives you a pack so it's a lot more noob friendly I'd say um, one good thing they are doing in this game is um, is redeeming codes you can redeem codes in your booster packs um, like today tomorrow's pre-release and tonight at midnight um, on Friday you will get a free sealed event and the sealed these you'll get a free one of these sealed 
events in a booster it'll just be in your booster in your pre-release kit um, and you'll be able to get a free one of these so that's a good introduction that's probably worth ten um, dollars about ten dollars that's worth so it's probably worth going down to your local pre-release if good, good uh, to get that free code quite interesting but I would say that to get this game more popular and to retain um, newbies it would they have to be a bit more generous than their competition definitely um, this wild card system needs to be improved I reckon they when you buy packs you should be getting more of those wild cards because if you think each of those sets is about 150 cards and then there's a few other sets that aren't there to start off with to start off with there's probably like eight nine hundred cards in standard at the moment and to start and to play you've got how are you going to catch up I mean they are giving you some basic decks which I've shown you and you can just grind if you want to get these free um, quests but they need to up the the um, amount of gold you're getting for these quests I mean 5,000 gold for a draft and you're only getting 500 that's 10 quests and if you're only getting one per day that you have to do 10 days of quests to get one draft whereas you know like in Hearthstone it's only 150 you could get it done in just over a day you could get a, you could play an arena if you want there needs to be different modes for for the beginners you know like a this singleton mode may be a different a beginner mode where you can just play only basic decks that they've given you or planeswalker decks if you want to spend fifteen dollars on a planeswalker deck um, which is like a set deck with a few set rares and a planeswalker and then you can play in there and you can then earn rewards there needs to be beginner friendly um, modes so then because if you retain um, new players then it's only good for your game isn't it more people playing it soon I just feel that people are just gonna quit this game and just move on you got half stone you got artifact Gwent he's got a new expansion um, and lots of new card games artifact so it's are coming out so they really need to be more generous I know they got a quality IP here but I just feel that it will just be experienced people playing by the end and just know it and you, know, you need new players to come in to get, to keep your game ticking over but that's just my two cents um, rate and make my video if you like it um, thumbs down if you think I'm not talking sense um, but yeah um, subscribe I've got new videos coming out all the time so thanks very much and I'll see you again in another video